We got another crazy question from wrongdoer inner forty five fifty eight on the Lung Gang Reddit page. They sent this one as one of the toughest questions uh, we could possibly find. Um, for sure, they could ask it at GCSE. I think they were kind of implying that it's GCSE further maths, which is all right. But there's nothing here that is specific to GCSE further maths. It's all standard GCSE math stuff. So it says ABC is a triangle. ABC. The perpendicular from A, so perpendicular, you can see that 90 degrees, meets BC at the point D. It says BC is 6 plus 2 root 7. The area of the triangle is 13 plus 3 root 7. Uh, work out the length of AD. Okay, well, actually this question's uh, simpler than you think. So, always look at what they give you. Yeah, they've told you the area of the triangle is this, okay? Well, how do you find the area of a triangle? Well, base times height. But when we say base times height, it's the base times the perpendicular height. And it doesn't matter what type of triangle it is. As long as you know the base and its vertical height, you can use half base times height. It's just usually when we have these awkward triangles, we can't find the vertical height, so they just give us an angle. We have to use cosine rule half AB sine C, all of that kind of stuff. So, we're going to say the area is a half times the base times the vertical height. They told us the area is 13 plus 3 root 7. Is a half of the base length. Now, the base length is this full length here. Yeah, not this portion, not that portion. The full thing which they told us was 6 plus 2 root 7. 6 plus 2 root 7. And the height is the vertical height, AD, which is what they want us to find. Add. And now we just need to rearrange for AD. I can half this, so I get 13 plus 3 root 7 is a half of 6, 3, and a half of 2 is 1, so we just get root 7, lots of, Add. Remember this is multiplication. So if we want to rearrange for AD, we just divide by this bricky. Now surprisingly, they can still ask, so traditionally this would be in a non-calculator paper, but they could still ask this in a calculator paper. And all they need to do is say, show all of your working. Okay. This is not in this form, A plus B root C. Yeah, we need to rationalize this denominator and they can be very clear in a calculator paper that you're not allowed to just type this in your calculator. So we need to rationalize this denominator. Okay, and we're going to say, what do we need to multiply top and bottom by so that we don't have a root in the bottom? Well, there's no single root we can multiply the denominator by to get rid of just that root 7. So we opt for the difference of two squares principle where we square this, square this. Okay, and we do that by multiplying it by itself but changing the sign. And then all you need to show is 3 times 3 is 9. Minus root 7 times root 7 is 7. Yeah, because you're squaring root 7. When you square a root, it cancels. Then on the numerator, we're going to have to expand. Obviously, in a calculator paper, you guys can check your answers, but hopefully you don't need a calculator for 13 times 3, 39. Then we have 13 times root 7 is 13 root 7, but don't forget it's a minus. Then we have 3 root 7 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, root 7. Now here we have to be careful. We have a positive minus is a minus. Then we have 3 times by 1, which is just 3. Lots of root 7 times root 7 is 7. Okay, so we have AD is all of that. So AD now. You can simplify up here as well. So we have 39, this is minus 21. Yeah, what's 39 minus 21? Before I make a silly mistake, which is not common, obviously. Yeah, so we have 18. Uh, minus 13 plus 9. The difference between them is 4, right? So it'll be minus 4. Root 7. All over 9 minus 7 is 2. But that's still not in the form that they want it in. We need integers. So we just split the fraction. We're going to do 18 divided by 2, 9 
And then we have 4 divided by 2 loss. But don't forget it's a minus. And that is your final answer in centimeters, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's the answer. Cheeky thirds and 2D shapes. Guys, if you learned something today, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. Subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my full GCSE courses, more details are in the description. And feel free, like I said, to join the Learn Gang Reddit page to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. I'll see you in the next video. Nice one, Mike.